Jeff here at Mr. Hardware. Today we're poolside and we're describing the features and the operation of our standard hopper system, which is uh, right next to me right here. So as you know, one of the main applications for the standard hopper is to do wet blasting on pool tile surfaces. However, it can also be used for uh, removing calcium from stone, it can be used in construction for sandblast, it can be used in marine applications, and it can be also used around the home. So in general, this is a great, uh, the standard hopper is a great tool to have around if you need to do wet blasting. And so the first thing I wanted to show you here is the hopper, the lid, and the cart, and some of the features associated with that. And the first thing you'll note on the cart is that there's two different rings at the bottom of the cart. And these two rings are designed to hold the blast guns. And the blast guns simply fit right in here, and there's a hook here, and they rest in there while you're moving the uh, wet blasting machine around uh, the deck or wherever you're working. So it's a nice feature to have uh, the holders. Now the reason that there's two holders is because you can upgrade the standard uh, hopper system to include an additional gun if you wish. And in other videos that describe um, the importance of choosing the correct tip that goes along with your standard hopper. Now we ship with the standard hopper our 15 degree wide tip because that's the most practical uh, tip and it's the one that you're going to use most often with our wet blasting systems. So let's uh, take a look at our cart here and the first thing you'll notice here on our cart is that we do have a couple feet that uh, screw into the bottom of the cart and these feet are really nice because it helps to prevent any kind of scratching um, on the deck surface that might occur if you didn't have these feet. So these will just screw right into there, they tighten up, and uh, you can set it down and uh, it, it gives you a little bit of traction also. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, spin the cart around and show you this side of it because this is the side that has our uh, drain snake poker on it and this device will come out of these three rings and what you can do is you can use this to run through the hopper and into this three quarter inch uh, media valve to dislodge any kind of debris that gets caught in here during operation and a lot of times you can just leave it in here during operation and it uh, kind of doesn't affect the performance much but it's nice to have it already inserted here so we've got that here, and that slides onto here through the rings, and it's a nice convenient holder. So if we turn the cart around even further, what you can see here is that we do have a nice uh, kick plate on the back, which you can put your foot against here, rotate it back, and it'll help to move the cart from one place to another. And on the back of the hopper, we have our instructions um, on how to do the wet blasting process. So what I'll do now is I'll spin this cart around and take a look at some of the additional features. So one of the things to note too is the size of the hopper. This hopper tank here is going to hold 100 pounds of media, whether it's uh, sand, salt, or glass bead. And on top of this hopper, what we do have is we have a snug fitting lid with a couple notches, and the notches help hold it into place like this. So that uh, will hold 100 pounds of media with a nice lid. And down below here, as the media travels through the hopper, we get to a 3 quarter inch valve. Now this 3 quarter inch valve is what you're going to use to open and close the flow of media to your gun. And for most applications, we run this uh, media valve fully open because we like to have as much media flowing through there as possible and that really helps because you can always control the media flow uh, from this, from the valve on the end of the gun. So when I'm working with these systems, I recommend that you keep the uh, media control valve fully open and let it run and control it this way. Now another very important feature for the standard hopper system is to note that this system does come with two 20-foot pieces of hose. Now, the reason we have two 20-foot pieces of hose is because one of the hoses can be used as a backup, which is a really nice feature because sometimes this hose will get wet with water and instead of taking the time to dry it out, you can just uh, put on an additional hose and you'll be good to go. Another reason for having the uh, second piece of hose is that the standard hopper can be run in two different modes. 
It can be run with a bucket or it can be run with a hopper. So if you're running a bucket, this media stake here comes with the standard hopper and the way that would work is that would just go right onto here. This hose would go onto here. It would go into the bucket and then the other uh, the other end of the hose would go onto your blast head. So there's two operations here for the standard hopper. You can run it in bucket mode or standard mode. Um, one of the things to note too is that the reason that you only have 20 feet of hose and not 50 or 100 which uh, is found in the carbureted hopper system is because when the media is flowing from the uh, hopper to the head there's a lot of friction in this 20 feet of hose and the Venturi has only so much strength it has only so much vacuum pressure that can pull that media from the hopper and through the hose so the Venturi on here is always trying to fight the resistance of the friction uh, of the media inside the hose and it's also always trying to fight the resistance of the media flow within the hopper itself and so because of that limitation of the Venturi vacuum pressure these systems only come with 20 feet of hose because that's the most uh, practical size where the system works the best. Now if you were to upgrade to the uh, Venturi assisted carburetor in that case you can run 50 feet and even 100 feet of hose. So that's the reason for the 20 feet of hose, but we do supply two pieces of it. Now, an important feature of this system also is that we do have some accessories that come with the uh, blast head. The most important accessory that comes with the uh, blast head is we do provide an extra fan tip because these tips can be easily chipped or broken if you bang them around on the ground, if you bang them in your truck, etc. We like to have an extra one on hand so that while you're working, you can just put a new one in place if you need to. Now, the other uh, important feature in here that we provide is we do provide like a, a two-inch nipple that you can use to shorten the distance between your blast head and your trigger gun, and that'll make a very short uh, uh, gun uh, configuration, and you can use that to get to tight places or to the deep ends of the pool. So those are a couple of the uh, uh, accessories that come with this kit in addition to, you know, the cleaning brush and, and other things like that that you can use to maintain uh, your equipment. And finally, with the standard hopper system does come our instruction manual and other important information that you can read about so that you can effectively operate um, the, uh, the standard hopper system. Now in a subsequent video, what we're going to do is we're going to show some of the upgrades that you can make to the standard hopper. For example, we can upgrade the lid, we can add additional gun, we can add a, a pressure gauge, a manifold splitter, etc. So in a subsequent video, we'll go through some of the upgrades. But for now, this is the configuration of the standard hopper. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.